there is a building God for left-handed people. And he just gave Holland Roden a gift. Now I've got to do that like four more times just for just this drawer. <laughs> and then I have like nine more drawers. Hey y'all, I'm Holland Roden and this is my van Holland Days. The quarantine in 2020 had me questioning how I can live my life with more intention. So I took the plunge on a dream I've had for years. Back to my bags in the entertainment industry in Los Angeles, bought a van and I am self-converting it in Wisconsin with no building experience. But a builder, an engineer, my new friend Steve Mivas is here to definitely help us along the way. Good morning. After a long rainstorm last night, stain department had a setback because treated wood is not supposed to get wet and it did. But we're gonna forge on and hopefully it's not ruined, but it really got wet. Now, get off the mineral spirits. After I put a layer on this, we're going to start butt jointing. That is the theme of the day. I never thought I'd say butt joints is the theme of any day, but it is. That is what it entails when you make a cabinet technically from scratch, but Steve says this is not really from scratch because there's a million kinds of custom joints that you can add from the group joints um, that are actually what you use from scratch, but we are gonna finish the garage drawer today. Staining takes forever. That's why Steve doesn't like staining over a painting. Right, right, we both need a nail gun, don't we? And the wood glue. Yep. You'll finish up with that door super quick. The door's only take about 10 minutes to assemble, so, uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, doors only take 10 minutes to assemble according to Steve. As you can see, this is flush. That is all good right here. So I tightened this one first, then this one. This one is the front of the cabinet. I'm sorry, this is the back of the cabinet, but the back and the front, you want the sides to butt into the front and the back. Today I am getting started on this little divider wall that goes between the kitchen and the bed. This is kind of the last thing, I think, that gets paneling. Um, well, that's not true. There's some more over here that I may or may not do before we paint. But uh, working on this, this is just kind of a little fake wall that will hide some wiring and a little electronics pouch on the back side of here. So I'm going to start putting some paneling on there. Oh, here we go again. Pretty much perfect on that line, which Round is molding. scary because I meant to leave a little bit of space you did? so I could do it again. <laughs> uh. Ten in a row. Nice. No. Benches in my kitchen with too much heat. She got my flapjack sleeping. No matter what I do, she wanna scramble it. 3 a.m. and the pot's still stirring. For all I know, she won't simmer till the morning. Going round and round till she gets her way. Chico. <gasps> Does the Tobo Chico even fit in this? Yes. Guys, look how cool this is. Whoa! <laughs> now I 
need help getting it out. <laughs> <laughs> Just pull it out. Yeah, that's big. Yeah, it's big. Look at this guy. That's what she said. <laughs> So much Topo Chico can fit in here with my cookware and sun chips. Just putting some little blocking in because as much as you plan, sometimes you miss little things like the fact that this is going to be visible. Just put some blocking in and call it a day. decided that there wasn't quite enough room in here with all the corn stuff so what we're going to do is rebuild this a little bit and put the outlets on the side and on the top and then take this other side and move it all the way over and that will give us quite a bit more room in here for cords and gadgets and whatnot so slight modification but i think it'll be helpful first four bolts in right here boop, 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 boop. line it up this is the swivel my Allen adapter on my wrench. an outlet hole cut in it and nothing else because I don't have these other uh, 12 volt outlets yet those I think will be here tomorrow so I'm just gonna wait but hopefully this fits and then I'm pretty much done with this project Let's see all right that looks pretty good I don't know that it makes sense to do much else because my next steps are continuing paneling up the sides here and I've really got to get these outlets in and wired up before I do that. Got a few more wires to run through here. Actually a substantial amount of additional wires to run through here, but I'll have some access since we don't have the ceiling in yet to uh, kind of fish wires up through the top and down in and through the back side up here. Um, so I'll still be able to do that to run, let's see, solar and... Uh, Oh, oh the, uh, there's kind of a control cabinet going up on the back side of this too, so I'll have to run wires for that. Good morning. I am a classic genius. Why is that? I didn't put on my essential oil last night after I got in my shower, <laughs> and I legitimately have five bug bites oh, on my butt. No. That is the theme of the day. Oh. How do they get on your butt? Well, you do uh, have. Yep, it's the it's the chairs. Like... <laughs> the chairs don't provide butt protection. No. And I had my first fight with Premier. It was. Uh oh, a... what no, was it? Fine. What it's was fine. it over? No, no, it was fine. It's just. Did you guys you make know. up? Yeah. Or are you still fighting? No, we're, no, we made up. Okay. We made up. Um, I'm gonna do a show and tell with ya. I could lower this a bit more too. I'm at negative eight. I could go to like negative ten. Yeah. Doesn't really work that way. So I want to make the whole clip ten, not just gradually getting so up to hold, ten. Hold on. So I just delete that. So I think I need to like highlight this maybe, or or I start at the beginning of the clip. Let me try that. Hey guys, quick editor's note here. On that clip, Holland was trying to change audio levels, but she ended up creating keyframes. Uh, to simplify it, keyframes mark the in and out points of transitions. So when Holland wanted to change the audio from a negative eight to a negative 10, what she did was create a transition from negative eight to negative 10. So as the video played, it started at negative eight and dropped. 
uh, when what she should have done was just gone to the first keyframe and changed that to the negative 10 that she wanted. Um, I hope this clarifies what was going on. Uh, I also hope you learned something because I'm not getting paid extra to give lessons on Premiere. Monday morning, back at it. I think today we're going to work on finishing up this wall, hopefully, finally. And um, maybe maybe start on this one. There's another kind of fake fake wall going here, and I'd like to get some of that paneling in before we paint everything. So I think that's where I'm heading. Okay, time to put this thing in. Oh, that is nice. So I glue these just because these joints, being a little bit misaligned, gluing will help them stay together over time. I glue a lot of things though. Not too shabby. I should put a little nailing plate on the ceiling here, shouldn't I? One nail, one screw. Walk into a van. Thought this would take a day. Of course, this is day two, but there's never a full day of doing anything. There's always decisions to make, distractions, my real job, you know, things like that. Still in the ordering phase as well. Kind of getting into the little stuff, you know, hardware and plumbing fittings. And we just got water tanks the other day. So now I'm like, all right, what do we need to install water tanks? It's easy to delay that kind of thing until you get to it, but then you just end up having to, you know, sit down and, and do it. It's easier to figure out how you're going to do something, though, when it's in front of you and you can just look at it and, you know, put it in place and say, okay, I need this fitting here and I go down here and I make this connection. It's a lot easier to visualize when it's in front of you and the van starts to take shape versus when you're just thinking about it on paper, even if you do like a solid model, like a SolidWorks model like we did for this one. With, so with one kind of day guys and I rarely drink but we're about to be very excited because we are going through all our packages and we have a mystery package this is a uh, Santa Claus drop this one off for anyone that likes opening pack opening packages like Christmas or something like that you will love a van build it's like Christmas with a lot of work is it your tripod <gasps> it is my 1990s <laughs> tripod guys that's awesome <laughs> my Valbon video mate too. So Steve, we're not sure if it's his dad's or his. I think it came from my dad way back yeah. in the day. And I was like, God, this tripod's amazing. Like out of all the people I've put on tape before myself, I just, I always have problems with tripods. This is the first one I didn't have any problems with. It's light, it's simple, it's not overcomplicated, which is the same thing, but yeah, Valbon. Awesome. Hello, we have a toilet. That word, that word. <laughs> Steve's much more apt to talk about these issues than me. I need to get better about doctor off, doctor's Everybody office jargon. Everybody poops Holland. So yeah, this is our toilet and we are figuring out, this is where the pee goes and we're figuring out how do you take this out? Because on this particular kind, it's an airhead, you shouldn't have to like pop this part up to take this, this part out. So we're trying to figure that out. If we just pull this out, which I think is kind of how it's supposed to go, it just, takes up too much it just it's going to hit this, right? So there's okay, there there's a wood box, and it's like this, only yeah. not flipped upside down. Yeah. And on the side of it, which is here, on the outside of that, there's a slider attached. Oh. So this sure. whole thing slides out of that. So cabinet. it's sliding out this way, so that's where the Correct. slider would be. Yes. I see what you mean. Unless you wanted to put it this way, you could do that. Okay. Good. Catch. You didn't want to do it like this because there's less space to sit down on yeah. it. That's why you wanted to do yeah. that. that. I forgot why. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, it makes um, more sense to put it this way. So the other thing you can potentially do is put this up like this yeah. and raise it up a little bit off the bottom of this cabinet. Yeah. And then maybe this is Do we have the right. height to do that though? I, well, we just have to make your... We were scared? We just have to make it higher. And sink? No, the divider between the sink cabinet and this. I think we have enough room 
on the oh, sink. Oh, you plan on building like a, like a, um, yeah, sure. I, I thought you were just going to be like, sink, there, okay, no. I think we should go the other way and, 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 and build a little dip for this. It might be what we have to do. How often do you think I'll be getting this out? Every day. It's tiny. I've had, like, I slammed on my brakes really hard one time to avoid a deer, and you I did had the not. toilet. You did not. The toilet ripped its screws. I had mine screwed into this, into the base, kind of like this, and okay. it ripped those out. Did the toilet? No. <laughs> no. No. Oh, no. It did not. No. But I was like, oh, oh damn, I need to make that stronger. Yeah. Oh, that's horrible. Well, that could have been really horrible. Yeah, I could have hit the deer. But I didn't. Exactly my point. <laughs> Shake it. Fine, honey. So dramatic. So dramatic. Next week, Steve's on his own installing a Max fan. If you don't know what that is, come back next week and check it out. I'm actually off to Los Angeles to shoot a project. But don't worry, I'll be doing check-ins. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, really helps our channel. Y'all come back and I'll see you later.